Hey everyone, so it's Monday, didn't end up vlogging yesterday, so I'm vlogging today, and so it's about a little past noon right now, and I just got home and I just scarfed down some lunch, um, Trey and I went to, excuse me, a OB appointment, just like a checkup today, and it was good, he was finally able to make it, and we got to hear the baby's heartbeat strong healthy heartbeat everything's going well um got a little emotional earlier trying to hold back tears because i always end up crying at like the ultrasounds or like dopplers that they do so today i was like let's try to let's try to hold it back a little um so now what i'm going to do is i am going to be running some errands for a little bit before um staying home for the rest of the day so I'm gonna try to make my own matcha latte. So, we were at Walmart yesterday to pick up some items and I so happen to see this guy. It is the organic matcha um, latte mix and it's, I've, I'll be honest, I've never used matcha at home on my own before for anything. I, every time I do get a um, matcha latte or iced one, it's always at Starbucks. And um, since I'm doing this at home, I don't have any sweetener for it right now. And that's fine. Um, it's kind of healthy to not have so much sugar while you're pregnant. And so today I'm going to have one without sugar or any sweetener because I usually get vanilla sweetener added to my matcha latte or ice latte because um, it gives it an extra boost of taste. It makes it a little more rich. Um, I never do the full amount of pumps for whatever the sizes they are. I always scale back by one or two more pumps and so it's a little more subtle but today we're going to do absolutely no sugar, no sweetener. So. It says here, ice matcha latte, two teaspoons of the mix, plus one cup of cold milk, plus ice. And what you would do is you shake or whisk together two teaspoons of the matcha latte mix. Use three teaspoons if you like more sweet. Oh, so this has sweetener in it. Never mind. With eight ounce, or aka one cup, of your favorite milk, regular or plant-based. When well mixed, pour over ice and enjoy. So that's what I'm going to do right now, and then I'm going to start heading out. So today, I'm going to stop by Target to get some gift wrapping, or like a paper bag, like one of the gift bags for my sister to um, as her for her birthday gifts, because I still haven't done that. I was going to do that yesterday, and it just blanked out of my mind. And then I'm going to come back here clean up a little bit, just tidying up, and then I'm going to try to relax a little bit and just chill for the rest of the day once I'm done cleaning everything up. And yeah, so let's give this thing a try.
what it looks like after I have added ice to it and whisked it for about a minute just to make sure I really get all of it and then it's ready to go so this is my favorite alternative to like a nice coffee with cream any day or just when I want a little something or a little pick-me-up but not as strong as coffee because well being pregnant I mean, I'm sure there is quite a bit of caffeine in here but probably not sure if it's as much or just because I wanted to switch things up and have something different from a cup of coffee oh so it says here servings 20 to 30 milligrams so it's a third of a cup of coffee so that's good so that it is less so yay slightly better healthier option to coffee and now off I go to run errands okay we're at Target and honestly I am so tempted to get one of those trees with the small set for um, of the blue ornaments for the nursery but then again we don't know if it's a boy or girl I just have a hunch that it's or if it's gonna be a boy but if it's a girl I'll do the pink set oh, I'm so excited this is for sure something I'm gonna do in their nurseries later on and in their bedrooms oh, should I get it I don't know it might be too extra <laughs> so many Target haul for what I got today so I got some tissue paper the gift bag and then obviously some circle wet jet for the wood floors and then I also got a few other items as well while I was there just because might as well so this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 20 Sand Sable shade that I would use for my daily wear now I know in the last vlog I talked about that Urban Decay one, that's something I would wear for like when we go out and then this one's for like my daily wear. Just because it's cheaper. And then I got some strawberries for my yogurt because I love vanilla strawberry, vanilla yogurt and strawberry with some granola chunks as a healthy snack or breakfast. guys now it is Tuesday morning um, last night after I last vlogged um, Trey came home and we went out for dinner and oh my god look at this belly guys so now 
up early. I'm going to be heading out for a little bit. I'm going to head off to um, the pet store to pick up some medication for our boxer. Luke, he's got a little tummy issues. And I'm also going to go probably to Jamba to get myself a smoothie because I'm craving for a smoothie and I need it anyway. So what I'm wearing right now is Fabletics. Um, leggings. They have these little texture on them and it's like V shaped if you go like that. And then these are pretty stretchy and like there isn't really a like a, a band or like one of those string thingies across this so it's quite stretchy. Let's see how much longer till I can no longer fit in these. And then this is just one of the Nike tops that I've had for quite a while. And then I'm probably just going to pair a pair of running shoes or something comfy with a jacket over because it is raining today. <sighs> Let's tackle the day. This is just one of their classic ones. It's the Caribbean Passion. Um, but that was what I was in the mood for. I mean, I know there were other ones. There's also the Pink Star that I also get that's really good as well. And I have had the Razzmatazz, but... I do like the Caribbean Passion more, and occasionally I'll go for the Pink Star, which is really good. It's not on their actual menu, it was a secret menu item. So when you go into Jamba, if you ask for the Pink Star, it is really good. And you can replace the soy milk that they put in it with more lemonade if you like it a little more sour. Or you can just keep it the original way, which is pretty good as well. Ugh. So I'm gonna drink this one, and then I'm gonna do some cleaning around the house and then try to check on the little guy because he has not been doing that well. Um, he's been feeling, his tummy has got a bit of a tummy, tummy prob. So when I was at Petco, this is what I picked up for him. Now he's a pretty big boy, so he's using the largest dosage size, which is one tablespoon. Gave him this already and let's see how that goes we use like a little um one of those medicine syringe um and just squirt it in his mouth because they say either put it directly in the mouth or mix with food so just try doing that and believe it or not he actually spit like the last amount of the dosage into like the side of my face and into my hair so we just had to clean that out real quick before i picked up the camera again so hopefully this will help him feel better. I originally was going to clean the house like I said earlier. Instead, um, I had to do some work on the computer and things kind of just got in the way a little bit. So cleaning's going to be done later here shortly. But just to have a little energy for a pickup today, I'm going to have some coffee. I feel like I all deserve it. I um, found this at a... Uh, Walmart the other day and it was it says butter cookie so it sounded good so I thought I'd give it a try and yes I do like cream in my coffee quite a bit so I get a little taste test of that. Hmm, not bad, but a splash more. So, this is actually pretty good. Not too bad. It's not as sweet as other creamers I've tried, so just know you might have to add a little more than usual if you do end up using this creamer. Oh god, let's not even let's not even go there. Ignorance can be bliss sometimes. <laughs> and so I'm gonna have my coffee and then wrap up some stuff on the computer and then I'm gonna start cleaning around the house. Come here, bud. Come here. Get in your bed. Get in your bed, bud. I'm gonna start vacuuming when you need it. Come on. Come here, bud. Get in your bed. Stay in your cozy bed.
So after doing the laundry, um, I got a spontaneous call from my mother-in-law. So we chat, I chat with her on the phone for a little while. And now I've had some time to sit and just relax a little bit until Trey gets home. And I think I'm going to close out the vlog for this one today um, here. And I will be vlogging again later this week, if not on the weekend. And um, I'll meet back with you guys then. If you are new, please feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.